Hi, welcome to the video and today we are going to go over my experience crypto mining as a complete newbie. I've been using this machine here called the Gold Shell LB1 to mine the LBRY coin or the library coin and it's been quite the journey. I've learned a lot and I want to share with you what it's like setting up the miner and also whether or not and this is probably what most people care about. I'm profitable and if it's something you should consider getting into uh, we will be going over the hard numbers i've actually listed out all of the information different hypotheticals and again i want to note i'm not an expert but i find that the way to learn about something is to try it so that's why i got this machine so a real quick overview this is the gold shell lb1 miner it was released in april of 2021 and it's sold by this company called gold shell here we can see this profitability estimator and it's fairly accurate but sometimes it's not exactly uh, always updated so i will give you the more exact numbers this runs at about uses sorry 80 watts of power and the noise level is about 55 decibels and it's it's just about like a the the, the sound of a, a desktop with a fan So compared to other miners, it's actually uh, pretty quiet. And the interface is also very simple. It connects to a power adapter that it comes with, and then also it needs to be connected to a computer. So that is also a downside because there are also a lot of ASIC miners that you don't need to connect to a computer. Uh, but this needs to be connected to a computer essentially at all times. These miners are dedicated to mining just one thing so this little machine right here cannot be used to mine bitcoin or ethereum or anything else it's just built to mine lb1 and gold shell sells a lot of other miners that are specifically built to mine one thing now the pros of that is that it's hypothetically supposed to be good at mining this one thing and the cons are obviously you can't use it for anything else so for these types of miners it's really important to get them early now for this one uh, a lot of gold shell products they actually sell out super fast so you can see officially it only costs 900 dollars if you buy it directly from the manufacturer and now it's actually in stock in these two other stores but they are selling at a premium right now but if you were to buy it at this premium and look at how much it's estimated to make per year it's not quite worth it now now back to this footage i shot you can see that it's really simple to set up all i had to do was to download this program and i started running it and that's basically it and then also i needed to connect it to a mining pool and i used dx uh, pool.com and here i can keep track of my miner my miner is actually in a separate room in the house and it runs in there and i'll just check it from my computer so that's great so here we can see uh the current profits yesterday's profits and here is when actually the all the dates that i've been mining for i officially started mining for half a day around 5 21 but my first full day was may 21st and here you can see here Every day, the amount of LBC I mined fluctuated, but on average, I did the math. On average, I made about 27 LBC. Now, when I say make, the reason I can make cryptocurrencies at all is because LBC is a proof of work cryptocurrency. Proof of work just describes a system that requires a not significant but feasible amount of effort in order to deter frivolous or malicious use of computing power. Basically, it means it helps secure. The blockchain you can also mine or solve complex mathematical problems in the case of bitcoin that helps you technically earn it we're essentially converting power into coins and you use your computer to help maintain the system that's the, the most basic way to put it as of right now this lbc credit is just about 11.6 cents which is pretty nice because actually for a majority of time i've been mining it's been hovering just around 10 cents so this little boost is really good and now for the thing you're here for is is this profitable or not and how much money have i actually made so here i made this little excel sheet and here we can see that i actually bought this miner for 1380 dollars, and that's a lot higher than the manufacturer because i wasn't able to get it these will sell out instantly but it's a lot cheaper from these resellers i was able to find a private reseller and we worked out a deal i've been mining for about 16 full days with an average of 27 lbc coins per day here is the income 
not including cost. If I'm making at its current price right now, it's 11.5 cents. This comes out to be $3.11 per day. So this is just 11.5 cents times 27. That equals $3.11 and then times 30 to get the month and times 30 to get the year. So at LBC's current price, I would be making $1,117.80 revenue. And this is not including the cost. Now the costs are going to be electricity and the electricity of the miner it's right here it's about 27 cents per day you extrapolate that seven dollars and 49 cents for the month 89 dollars and 86 cents for the year for the electric laptop i'm just estimating so the miner uses about 80 watts a laptop i'm guessing would use maybe about 40 watts a little under half of the total amount of power this miner uses and uh, adding this up over the year the cost of electricity is just about $135. So at LBC's current price, my net profit would be $982.64. It's not ideal that it takes over a year to get to my break even. And at this profit point, it would take 508 days for me to make my, my mining machine, the LB1, back. If you're comparing it to a stock that's growing 10% per year, that might not be worth it because who knows if this mining machine is going to hold value. But the reality is if LBC, the coin is worth a lot, then these miners will be worth a lot. But if LBC coin is worth very little, then your miners will also be worth nothing. So it's very, very all or nothing. And here I have the what if. Here you can see if the price of LBC was 15 cents and it actually hit 15 cents just one to two months ago when Bitcoin was at record highs, then my profit over the year would be $1,300 and the break even would just be a little over a year at 377 days versus 508. On the flip side, LBC could drop. It could go to seven cents. And if it went to seven cents, I would only be making $545 of net profit and break even would be 920 days or almost three years so that's why this is a big gamble if i break even after 508 and the price of lbc just remains constant then this essentially would still be worth it because this would be minting me you know two dollars and 72 cents a day and that would just be profit and ideally it would be giving me profit for many, many years to come. But the reality is that the more people that hop into mining, the more the reward weights, re reward rates. Did I say reward weights? I did. Reward rates are cut. But because I got this relatively early, I think if this rate holds, this will pay itself off. I just need this to mine for two years. And then I would have gotten about like a 30, 40% return, which is nothing crazy but it's decent on the flip side you really have to think of opportunity cost me buying this miner for fourteen hundred dollars what if i had just put that into a coin that's down a lot right now there are plenty of coins that have a pretty good chance of doubling and putting it anywhere that even doesn't double even if it just grows 50 percent that probably is more worth it than mining. But what I really like about this miner is just the learning experience of it all. And the idea of this thing can generate me money and it's also supporting this coin that I believe in. I think that's really cool. And that's an intangible feeling that it, you can't really put a price on it. It's, it's the price of education. And it's also the price of being even more involved in crypto, which is something I believe in in the long term. Yeah, you can look at these numbers and I think they are very important, especially if you want to build a business or build actual income on this. If you are thinking about getting into this, I would recommend getting a little miner like this. There are miners that go up to 5,000 or even 20, $30,000 that are really, really powerful, but they require a lot more energy and they're super, super loud. Loud. And actually, when you get to those expensive miners, they can be a lot more worth it. With these small miners, oftentimes they aren't quite as lucrative because these are just altcoins. They're inherently way more riskier than if you're mining Bitcoin or Ethereum. Uh, but on the flip side, the capital is low. Don't come into this thinking that you're going to be rich. I think the people that are making significant sums of money started much earlier. Uh, if you start today, it's not too late, 
but you have to be really, really quick on these deals. Uh, imagine buying this for $1,000 versus $2,000. The person that bought this machine, the LB1 for $1,000 has a much, much higher chance of being profitable over two years versus the person that bought it for $2,000. And also if LBC were to tank, this would be a wash. If LBC rises up, then I would be making a lot more money. The only thing you can control is when you get in and whether or not you believe or have conviction in a certain altcoin that you decide to mine. Um, but overall, I'm really happy I got into it. I actually have a couple of other miners that I also bought that I also want to play with. And yeah, that's been my experience. Let me know if this is something you're into. What do you think about cryptocurrency mining? Is mining even worth it or would you rather just buy and hold certain coins? If this was helpful or if you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing. This is Green Knight Trading where squires become knights. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you soon.